Good heavens! You heard how the priest was butchered. Dusty. Hasn't been touched for a couple of days. You did wear your favourite boots. Such devotion. Angelo's footprints end here, abruptly. Not a good sign. A colorful piece of fabric as a bookmark. An elegant decision. This must have left a grievous wound. Someone had to stand here for a couple of hours at least. 11 cigarette ends of the same brand. Somebody spent some considerable time here. A hasty job by an amateur, but Angelo was taken by surprise nevertheless. Excuse me, just one question. Of course. Let me help you. We are close. Very close. Trust me, Sherry. Someone desperately tried to stop the bleeding.
green silk. A bit worn and faded, but still an impressive hat. I think I found the place where they took Angela. Miss the party. Too simple. Take a rest, my friend. Oh, don't cry, you'll live. To no <laughs> Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff. I couldn't miss the party. <laughs> no more crap. Take a rest. Now, go for it. Don't bother them. The snuff's ready. Time to knock this guy out. I couldn't miss the party. No more crime for you until give him the pepper snuff. I'm coming for you. Don't bother moving. You've lost. I will end you. It's all yours now. Go for it. The snuff's ready. The bandits had as much fun as they could. Oh, they got themselves a nice setup in here. For a gang.
A primary instrument of torture. How vicious one must be to have to use it in such a way. An engraving inside, together always and forever. A severed finger. No one deserves such cruelty. They were tracking down Angelo. Keys of different shapes and sizes. What could you open with these? He sustained a great many injuries. They severed his finger while he was still alive. At last, I found you, Angelo. Mycroft should know about this. Quite a collection of books, but none of them with FD as the author. Bloodstains all over the mattress. What did you hide, Angela? Seems like Mycroft will get the book he wanted after all. Do you think it has a coded message inside? Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. The illustrious Mr. Holmes returns no worse for wear, and with a gripping tale to tell, no doubt. While the matter proved rather simple in the end, I'm afraid the details are not for your ears, nor your readers. How very tantalizing. Your brother asked that I collect your report, and a book if you obtained it. Here is my report, and Miss Sertle. He will know if you opened it. I also retrieved the book for Mycroft. Crime and punishment. It sounds appropriate. More than you may think. Aha. Uh -huh. How so?
There's something else. I found a ring belonging to one of Mycroft's men. Did he mention anything further? Alas, no. Well, the man was a hero. Protected the secrets of the British Empire. Here, please deliver this ring to Mycroft. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Is... I, I don't understand. Miss Sertle, I'm afraid neither do I. This is his ring. My Angelo's ring. Angelo Dondolo is your fiancé. My God. Your brother told me Angelo was sent to Roma. What happened? Where is he? There's no need to worry. Angelo's mission was covert. He probably left the ring deliberately. I suggest you carry on as normal for Mycroft. Well, if you trust your brother, I, I suppose you're right. But I do worry. It's not Angelo's way. I'll thank you for the ring, Mr. Holmes. Now, please. There are matters to which I must attend. <laughs>